stop flaunting. Megan kicked in the teeth for overpriced $400,000 jewelry on her video for children. Recently, Meghan Markle has made a video of herself reading her children's picture book The Bench, which she dedicated to Prince Harry and her son Archie. Their wealth is often highlighted by the clothes and accessories that Meghan wears. In a recent YouTube video, Meghan criticized as wearing jewelry pieces worth $400,000. In June 2021, Megan released a children's book called The Bench. The book is based on a poem she wrote for Prince Harry about the relationship between him and their son, Archie. The Duchess of Sussex gave a short introduction, plugging illustrator Christian Robinson, before reading the whole of her New York Times bestseller. At the end of the video, Megan shares her hope for others to find a place that means something to you that you can share with someone you love similar to the many benches in her book. The Brightly Storytime video is around three minutes in length, though that did not stop Meghan from donning some pricey accessories. According to Daily Mail, Meghan wore several pieces of jewelry that could be worth around $400,000. This includes a Cartier tank watch, $23,000, Cartier love bracelet, $6,900, Jennifer Maya mini gold tennis bracelet, $3,000, Lorraine Schwartz pinky ring, $62,000, and her engagement ring, $350,000. However, Daily Mail noted that the watch and engagement ring are likely both given to her by Harry. The watch, in particular, used to belong to Harry's late mother, Princess Diana. Ever since Meghan joined the royal family, she has received much criticism for the price tags of her outfits. During her first year as a royal, Meghan reportedly spent anywhere from $300,000 to $500,000 on fashion alone, which includes the $100,000 worth of clothing she wore on one trip to Morocco. Meanwhile, Kate Middleton only debuted $85,000 worth of new clothes around the same time. However, it should be noted that Kate was on maternity leave for much of Meghan's first year. Nonetheless, Meghan's recent trip to New York City caused a stir when she wore over $7,000 worth of clothes to visit an underprivileged school in Harlem. Turning up at an underprivileged school in Harlem in a couture coat that costs more than the combined incomes of most of those parents at the school, it doesn't make any sense, royal author Katie Nichol remarked, according to Mirror. It just shows them to not be in touch. The Duke of Sussex Prince Harry wants to visit the UK this Christmas so that the Queen can finally meet Lilibet, after it is understood he felt helpless in the US following his grandmother's hospital admittance. Prince Harry wants to bring Lilibet to the UK for Christmas, in order to meet her great-grandmother, the Queen in person, a source has claimed. The Duke of Sussex is understood to have felt helpless in the US after Her Majesty was admitted to hospital last week. A source claims he is now preparing to return to the UK with Meghan and the kids, Archie and Lilibet, in the coming weeks. The insider told US Weekly that Harry went into panic mode and has been checking in non-stop with her. They alleged that he feels guilty about not saying goodbye to Prince Philip in person, prior to his death in April. They added, he would never forgive himself if the same thing happened with his beloved grandmother. Harry, is hoping to go back home for Christmas with Meghan, if not before, so that, the Queen, can finally get to meet Lilibet and see Archie again. The monarch is known to hold Zoom calls with her grandson and his family in the US and events sent Archie a warful maker for Christmas. It was reported earlier this year that the Queen feels great sadness that she doesn't get to see her great-grandchildren often. Editor-in-chief of Majesty magazine, Ingrid Seward, said before Lilibet's birth, she has barely seen Archie since he was born, a source of sadness for her. The Daily Star has approached the Duke of Sussex for comment. Star has approached the